Hi Year 3, it's Miss Carter. I am here with your first of 10 English lessons. And these English lessons are all going to be based on the book called I Want My Hat Back by John Classen. Now, you may have noticed I haven't shown you the front cover. That is because this lesson, our Walt, is that we are learning to predict. So what does that word predict mean? Have a think, maybe pause the video. You're right, predicting means to think. It means to make a guess about what we think is going to happen in the book. To help us make those guesses, we are first going to look at the title. It's called, I want my hat back. So what can we learn from the title? We know that there's somebody that's calling themselves I and that they want their hat back, don't they? Now, shall we read the blurb and see if that tells us a bit more information? It says, a bear has lost his hat. What if he never sees it again? Wait, he has seen his hat. So we know that there's a bear who's lost his hat and he's a bit worried about whether or not he's going to see his hat again. So, what do we think is going to happen in the story? Pause the video now. Tell somebody in your house what you think is going to happen in this story. So, you've discussed what you think the book is about. Now it's time to get on with our work. So, I've written at the top here our title, I Want My Hat Back and our Walt, which is we are learning to predict. Now today we are all going to start on Miles and work our way up to Spicy if you want to. So our mild task is to draw the front cover. I'm going to have a go and show you what I mean. So I've got my piece of paper here. Let's just pretend I'm on a whiteboard, aren't I? I need to draw the front cover. What does a front cover always have on it? The title, good, so I'm gonna to need to write that. I think I'm gonna put my title at the top here. I want my hat back. Good, step one. Oh, what have I got to do next? I've got to make sure the author is on there. Who can remember what the author is called? He's called John Classen. So I'm gonna write his name down. I think my front cover, although I know it's at the top, I think I want mine at the bottom. John Classen. And now I've got to think about what is going to be on my front cover. I know from the blurb that it's a bear that's lost his hat. So I think I'm gonna start with a bear. Let's go, he has his face, his big round belly, some legs and some arms and then I've got to think about his face do I think he's going to be smiling is he happy or is he a bit sad I think he might be a bit sad about losing his hat so I'm going to draw him with a sad face and I think I'm going to draw him thinking about his hat because he really misses it so I'm going to draw him a little thought bubble with the bear, his little face inside his ears, his happy face, because he's going to be wearing his hat. And I'm going to draw him a pointy hat, like a party hat with a little flag at the top. So there, that is my mild. So if you think you just want to do mild, you can do this. But if you want to challenge yourself, we're going to do hot. And our hot task today is to write a prediction sentence. So what do we need to remember when we write our sentences? We need a capital letter, finger spaces, and a full stop or something at the end. So a question mark or an explanation mark. We need one of those three things. But first of all, let's start. I need a capital letter. I'm going to write a prediction sentence, which means I need to start my sentence with I predict... that. Hmm. What do I think is going to happen? Let's start with, do I think if the bear is going to get his hat back? I think yes he does. So I predict that the bear 
finds his hat. There is my prediction sentence. Good, so I've shown you how to do mild, I've shown you how to do hot, now let's work on spicy. We are going to be writing a prediction paragraph. So remember, to write our paragraph today, I would like at least three sentences. We've already done one, so we need to write two more sentences about what we think is going to happen in our book. So we've already got, I predict that the bear finds his hat. I'm going to think, where do I think his hat is? Do I think he's lost it? Do I think he's left it somewhere? Do I think someone's taken his hat? No, I don't think anyone would do that. So I think he's left it somewhere. I think he's left his hat in a tree. So I'm gonna write, I think the bear left his hat in a tree. Remember my full stop at the end. Also, I've got two sentences I need to think of. One more. I'm going to think about what do I think the hat looks like. I already think it's a party hat with a little flag, but what colour might it be? Purple, pink, rainbow. I think I'm going to go with a blue sparkly hat. I predict that his hat is a blue sparkly party hat. What needs to go at the end? A full stop. Good, so I've got my paragraph. I think that the bear finds his hat. I think the bear left his hat in a tree. I predict that his hat is a blue sparkly party hat. So I've shown you how to do mild, hot and spicy. Remember, we are all starting with mild and we are drawing our front cover. If that's it for you, well done for that. If you want to challenge yourself, write your first sentence about do you think is the bear going to find his hat? And if you're, you write your sentence and decide you've had enough, well done for doing that. But if you want to challenge yourself that little bit extra and move on to spicy, write your two other para your two other sentences think about where you think his hat is and what you think his hat looks like good luck with this challenge today i'm sure you will all do fantastically mrs fryer and i cannot wait to see your work so make sure you email over your predictions to us have fun and i'll see you for tomorrow's english lesson bye